It took me more than five years to get Mauricio fully on board with the Dave Ramsey plan. Five long years. During those five years, he would say things like, no, honey, I understand what you're trying to do. I'm 100% okay with whatever you do. It's whatever you want. It's fine with me. I totally trust you. That isn't what I needed to hear at all. In fact, what I really wanted was a husband that would step up and say, no, you don't need to be doing this. You don't need to be doing that. That is what I really needed. But Mauricio wasn't there yet. We had even taken Financial Peace University. When I first found out for, about Dave Ramsey, I immediately got on board. I was like, this is what we need. This is everything I've ever looked for. How did I not know this existed? What do you mean you can live without debt? But Mauricio didn't get there as quickly as I did. And part of the reason is Mauricio had very different circumstances growing up. He had lived his whole life wanting and desiring and not being able to have. And when we first got married, in his eyes, we were making so much money and we were able to do things that he never even dreamed of doing. So for him to imagine going through a couple of years of really hard saving, it was just like another day for him. He had been doing that his whole life. He wanted to relax a little bit for a while. So what I can tell you is in those five years that it took Mauricio to get on board, we made no headway, zero headway. And in fact, truth be told, we took on so much more debt. So what happened with us? In 2008 or 2009, I heard about Dave Ramsey. I think it was around 2008. I heard about Dave Ramsey and I started listening. I read his book. I loved it. Shortly thereafter, we enrolled in financial peace at our church and we both loved it. But Mauricio wasn't ready. Fast forward to five or six years later in April 2016, Mauricio was ready and he was on board and his enthusiasm for the program actually exceeded mine. And in those four months from the time he got on board till today, we paid off over $25,000 in debt just by budgeting, by cutting things out, by focusing on, focusing on our priorities. We could have never made that kind of headway if Mauricio wasn't on board. It is vital that your spouse be on board with this program if you want to have success. It can be done without them on board, but it is going to be so much more difficult and so much more complicated that it's almost not worth it. It is worth taking the time to get your spouse on board, no matter how long it takes. What does it take to get your spouse on board? Well, there are four steps it took, and this is the process I use to get Mauricio on board. And it was four steps and they were long steps, but I can tell you they are absolutely worth it. Step number one, shut your yap. In my house, Dave Ramsey became an obscenity. I talked about Dave so obsessively that I think Mauricio thought I was going to leave him for Dave Ramsey. Mauricio hated Dave Ramsey. He took financial peace because I bullied him into it. He did not want to hear about Dave Ramsey. He did not want to hear about getting out of debt. It was not until I learned, shut it, shut it, shut it. This is what I do to my four-year-old all the time. Shut it, that, that. Until I learned to shut my mouth and stop talking about Dave, did he start to come around? That is huge. Seriously, stop. Stop talking about Dave. Don't say budget, don't say envelopes, don't say debt free. Don't, just don't. So step number two, wait. I know this is the most boring four step process ever. 
but this waiting game is super, super important. I could actually tell if he was ready to hear about Dave again by his reaction when I would just bring up something simple indirectly Dave Ramsey. Like I might say something about retirement or how much do you want to save for retirement? I could tell by his reaction if his body language got tense and uncomfortable, he wasn't ready. If he immediately changed the subject, he wasn't ready. So I waited and I waited and I waited and then I waited some more. Step number three to getting your spouse on board with the Dave Ramsey plan, it's time to start dreaming. And you dream big. You cannot, cannot, cannot dream until you have passed through steps one and two. You absolutely cannot. And once you can talk about finances without having them physically tense up or cringe, you can start to dream. And when you dream, dream big. Dream Talk about all the trips you want to take. Don't necessarily talk about money. Talk about fun. Talk about falling in love again. Dream big. Now, keep in mind, when having your dream discussions, it is exceptionally important that you do it when they are receptive to this kind of discussion. You don't want to bring up dreaming when they're in a bad mood or they're tired or they're hungry because if you start trying to dream with them and they're not in the mood to dream it's going to be counter effective so make sure that the time is right go out for dinner in a movie and while you're sitting at dinner you know get them laughing have a good time and then start dreaming but make sure they're in a receptive mood to dream and then once you have had enough dream meetings, and these dream meetings could take months between dream meetings. Once you have had these dream meetings, you move on to step number four. Get them to a live event. Not Financial Peace University, which is great, by the way. It's fantastic. But there is something to be said for a live event. So what I did with Mauricio after we had started dreaming and he was really getting on board with the fun things we could do, the things we could have, the trips we could take, the future we would have, I told him, I saw that Dave was going to be coming to Washington DC. So I sent him an email, all it said was just saying. And my plan was to, a couple of weeks later, to bring it up again and say, hey, do you mind if we go? I'd really like to go. Well, little did I know, Mauricio took that opportunity to buy me tickets to the event for my birthday. Mauricio saw my enthusiasm. He saw everything. He got to meet Dave Ramsey. We had our pictures taken with him. We got to meet Chris Brown and Ken Coleman. And it was huge for Mauricio, not necessarily to meet Dave, not necessarily to meet Ken Coleman, not necessarily to meet Chris Brown, but it was huge because he got to see my excitement up front. And when he saw how excited I was, there was no stopping him. And so those four steps, granted, they took years for us to get there, but Mauricio will never get off, off this wagon. He'll be on it until the end. In fact, now I would say Mauricio is probably even more on board than I am. I promise you, once you get your spouse on board, it is totally worth it. It is totally worth every second that it took to get there. The only thing I can say is take the time, plan a strategy, and do it. And be patient. It will take a long time, but it'll be so worth it in the end. So if you thought today's video was helpful, please click subscribe down below and watch all of my videos. I'm super happy that you joined me today. Thank you so much. See ya.